That is a cool feature. I never knew it could be that easy to do this on a GoPro. This is the GoPro Max 360 video camera. So this shot is the narrow shot, pretty much the zoomed in shot that you get. And it's uh, pretty nice, I'll tell you that much. This one is the linear, so it's kind of spanning out the sides. You know, you get more of that, that look, which is pretty cool. Oh, I get down a hallway or something. So this one is the wide, so you can pretty much see everything. Again, very wide shot. And I'm holding my arm straight out. I'm about two and a half feet away from the camera and I can straight out my arms and you can catch that view. And then you got max super wide shot. It gets everything. So pretty sweet. The picture quality on the screen itself is it's small. I mean, it's a small, tiny screen, but it's pretty, pretty good. So this is on the GoPro. I'm going to switch back to my uh, normal camera and we will finish out the video next. And now we're back. This is the normal camera I shoot with. We were just on the GoPro Max and man, that is a phenomenal camera, video recorder, 360 all around camera. So I wanna give you a couple of pros and cons of this camera that I've noticed when I was using it. One major pro about this camera is that it's waterproof. I was able to not use the case for, not use any kind of lens protector, and actually just jump right in the water with it, record 360 video, any kind of video, take pictures, and it was great not having to worry about uh, something breaking on it or putting a case on it. The only issue I saw with uh, recording in 360 is when you're underwater, it kind of gets you like a bubble look around your lens. Not really clear picture. Possibly doing a 360 video underwater is something you want a case for. Number two for a pro is that it's a rugged body on it. So it's pretty stout. You drop it on the shell itself. It's not going to get damaged as bad. It's made of a hard rubber. You drop it on the lenses, they're gonna crack, they're gonna break. So definitely make sure you put those covers on those if you're traveling around or if you're you know out and about, make sure you put those covers on those cases, on the lenses, because if you don't, if you drop it, it will break. Another pro is that it's really easy to use. I mean, I was, honestly, the first time I ever used a GoPro was this one right here, the GoPro Max. So for me, it was a learning experience, but it was really easy to navigate through the menu of the camera and just how to set it up real quick. and even the app that you get to edit this stuff. So, I mean, it was really easy to use step-by-step. Step. It tells you on the screen too. So another pro is the screen on this thing. It's got a colored screen on the back, touch screen. You do a lot of different things on the screen. The battery life on this thing, so about an hour and a half is pretty typical for that battery. The image quality on your pictures and your video, just normal video, is fantastic. One big thing is the stabilization of these GoPros. Minimal editing, which is great. The sound quality is pretty good. Um, if you do have a, a selfie stick, old style, like I was using for the first time, when you go underwater, it is um, not good. Make sure you get a good selfie stick that actually doesn't like to fill up with water and you see all the bubbles and you hear all the bubbles going um, while you're underwater because it does take away from the video and the sound. Um, just make sure that you get a good underwater selfie stick. These GoPro Maxes are great for vlogging. The wherever Disney World or whatever, those cameras are light, compact, small. You can take it with you on a selfie stick and it does great quality for what you need to do for your vlogging. One thing I like about it is that it connects to your phone really quick. It's really simple, step by step, like I said, a first time GoPro user. It was really simple for me to get it all set up, get it all going. Um, so that was a really good thing for GoPro and hook it up to a phone, hooks up to your Android, to your iOS, really quick and easy. And the price of it is $4.99 for this camera. You get all these good things, all these great details of the 360. Um, the only thing is you don't get 4K export. It's only 1080p, which you know is still good. But when you have another GoPro that does 4K export, this one doesn't, you can't get all the eggs in one basket. So 
The 499 price tag on it is really good for what this camera can do. So some of the cons of this GoPro Max was the little camera pouch they gave you. So you open it up, it's a little bag, it's got two little slits in there for the other little lenses to go in there. And like, honestly, I didn't even know if there was anything else in there until I had really searched in there. And the camera case is not really a good protection for the camera itself or the lenses. So I would definitely try to get one that's like a hard case if you wanna invest in that. The one main thing that was kind of a annoying bunch of steps that didn't need to be was actually exporting the footage to your phone. I don't know why it's gonna be so difficult, so many different steps, but make it easier next time, just saying. And if you don't use the GoPro app, you might run into some things like the unleveling of the horizon. So again, those are some things that you have to work through editing. If you use the GoPro app, it actually edits all that. If you don't use the GoPro app, you will have some issues when you do the 360 video of it being on level. So using the GoPro app, you might want to do that. So that was my take on the GoPro Max 360 camera. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making the video, taking a bunch of video on this 360 camera. I love this camera. I'm a first time GoPro user through this one and it sold me. I would recommend this product for anybody that likes to do any kind of footage, any kind of, uh, you know, maybe sports activities, anything like that. You want to get some cool shots. This camera does it all for the good price tag that you have on it and it's really easy to do some editing on it and through the GoPro app, it makes it a lot uh, less stressful doing videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Put some comments down uh, below of any kind of pros or cons that you might have with this 360 camera that I might not have said, and I would love to talk about it. Thank you for watching. It's Tech Dad HD, and I'll see you next time. Peace.